this is, as I said before, a term pregnancy um, with a lot of stretched out skin and stretched out muscles to accommodate the growth of this baby. And this is what she looks like five years after delivering. And you can see stretched out skin hanging over her panty line as well as over here the outline of her muscles called the rectus abdominis muscles which are sitting out here to the side because they've also been stretched out. So when patients come to see me, they're not happy with the way their abdominal wall looks. And there's often a range of, of procedures that we discuss during a tummy tuck consultation so that patients can know why I'm recommending what I'm recommending and what is available out there. And these are the four procedures that we generally use to address changes in the abdominal wall. So a tummy tuck is actually a repair in two layers. There is removal of extra skin and, and fat that has accumulated in the, mostly in the lower portion of the abdomen, which is the superficial repair. But there's also a repair of the deeper muscles which have been separated by all that stretching during pregnancy. Liposuction is a procedure where we just remove fat through very small incisions, but we're not doing anything to the overlying skin. So if you have stretched out skin, liposuction can make you smaller in size, but it's not going to reduce that extra skin. A mini tummy tuck is a smaller procedure than a full tummy tuck with smaller incisions, but we're really only working on muscle separation below the belly button and also there's less skin removed. So this is a this is a procedure for a certain group of patients. Let's I just want to show you a little bit about what we're talking about when we say muscle separation or rectus diastasis. This picture is a CAT scan of an abdomen at the mid portion of the abdomen and number um, Number five, where the two arrows are pointing, is the re are the rectus abdominis muscles. And number six over here is that connective tissue layer between the two muscles, which prior to pregnancy is very tight and brings the two muscles right next to each, each other in the, in the anterior abdominal wall. And this is a CAT scan of a abdomen after a full-term pregnancy. And what you can see here is that these two muscles are still here, but now this connective tissue layer between them is very stretched out, and the muscles themselves are separated from each other. And this is what we refer to as rectus diastasis. And again, the picture on the left shows the, the pre-pregnancy tight fascia with good approximation of the muscles and the picture on the right shows this stretched out this stretched out muscle layer. And when that muscle layer is stretched out like that, there is really no exercise in the world that is going to bring those muscles back together in a way in which they're anchored. So when we do a tummy tuck, and this is the deep layer repair that I was talking about earlier, what we're actually doing is sewing this connective tissue from all the way up here to all the way down to your pubic bone, tightening it up so that the rectus abdominis muscles come back into a more appropriate position in the midline. That reestablishes the core muscle integrity of your abdominal wall and all exercise that you do after that will actually be much more efficient. So here are four very different bellies and the procedures that we would recommend for each of these patients is different. In the top left what you see is a belly with a lot of abdominal wall fat and this young woman brought in pictures of herself when she was about two years old and she had a big fat belly and the rest of her is in really good shape whereas the patient on the upper right has a uh, has an abdomen that's stretched out 
really below the belly button. So she has some, some loose skin, but a lot of muscle wall laxity, which you can see by this bulge over here. But it's pretty much all confined to below the belly button. The patient in the lower left has a hugely stretched out abdominal wall that's very thin. And you can see that she looks like she's probably about five months pregnant still, although she's not. And you see all that extra skin hanging down below her underwear. And the patient on the bottom right, finally, is a patient who has muscle separation, which you can see with the shadows of the muscle over here. But she also has a relatively thick abdominal wall. And these are the exact same patients in the same orientation, but now with the side view. So again, isolated, pretty much isolated fat to here, good abdominal wall contour, not a whole lot of skin above the belly button, but a big bulge below, a totally shot abdominal wall, and a pretty loose abdominal wall with a fair amount of fat on the abdominal wall. So these patients would undergo different procedures. The one on the top left is a liposuction candidate because her skin's not stretched out and her muscles in good shape. And the pictures above are her before the procedure and at about six months after the procedure. This is the patient that's on the that was on the top right. And she her pictures preoperatively show that laxity in the lower part of her abdomen. And you can see that she has a shorter incision in the post-op in the post-op um, pictures, and a good approximation of her rectus muscle again, and a nice abdominal contour. This is another patient who had a full tummy tuck. And as you can see preoperatively, she was stretched out with skin and with um, evidence of muscle separation. And this is her post-op picture below. And she actually was able to exercise and run and work out much more effectively after the procedure. And you can kind of see the six pack that she herself has created. That's not all my work. And this is another patient who had a full tummy tuck and came back in with her little bikini to show me how everything looks and how the scar could be hidden underneath a pretty small bikini bottom. And this is that patient that was in, on the, in the lower left after her full tummy tuck. And this is a patient who, had, who was on the lower right in those first four pictures. And you can see that she's also had a tummy tuck where we've done a fair amount of aggressive liposuction of her abdominal wall so that we could thin that, that um, skin that we left behind so that she got a much better contour. Liposuction is something you have to do very, very carefully when you have a tummy tuck. And the procedure itself should be, the tummy tuck procedure should be modified um, so that you can do the liposuction safely without running the risk of losing some of the skin at the abdominal wall. So that's basically my presentation. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to your questions.